Hi friends, welcome to the next installment of our video devotions as we've been journeying together through the book of Acts. Since last time, you might have read from Acts chapter 14 verse 21 through to Acts chapter 16 verse 10. Now, a lot happens in this section. We meet Timothy and he starts journeying with Paul. Paul and Barnabas have a fight, they have a disagreement and they go their separate ways. And we also see the first council of the church, uh, the council of Jerusalem, uh, where the leaders of the church come together and they make a decision about a debated topic. We see these uh, all throughout church history, but this is the first one uh, recorded for us here in Acts chapter 15. Now, the issue for debate is, can the Gentile Christians really be saved if they don't take on the customs of the Jews. Uh, some people have come uh, from Jerusalem uh, without authorization from the leaders. They've come to Antioch and they've said to the people in verse 1 here, unless you are circumcised according to the customs taught by Moses, you cannot be saved. It's a big moment for the church here. Uh, do they really think that's true? Uh, that all these Gentile converts actually haven't been saved, they haven't been included into the people of God, unless they take on the law of Moses. So Paul and Barnabas with some others uh, journey to Jerusalem, they gather the leaders together and they make a decision. Now Peter stands up in front of this council uh, and he has, has something to say. You guys might remember uh, a couple of weeks ago we looked at Acts chapter 10. Uh, Peter has had a big experience in this, uh, this kind of area, this debated area, uh, and he speaks. Uh, he's learnt from that uh, and this is what he says. I'm uh, reading from verse 8 here. God, who knows the heart, show that, shows that he has accepted them by giving the Holy Spirit to them, just as he did to us. He did not discriminate between us and them, for he purified their hearts by faith. Now then, why do you try and test God by putting on the neck of the Gentiles a yoke that neither we nor our ancestors have been able to bear? No, we believe it is through the grace of our Lord Jesus that we are saved, just as they are. The council agrees with Peter, this is the decision that has been made, that Gentile Christians are saved by grace through faith in Christ and they receive the Holy Spirit, just as is true for the Jewish people who decide to follow Jesus. There is no law that is necessary. The law has been fulfilled in Christ and it is no longer part of what it is to be the people of God. Now, this is an interesting question uh, for, the, for the church, and it has implication for us now. We are benefactors of this decision. Now, it means a few different things. It means something for the Jews. It means that they, as, as Jewish people who follow Jesus, these people are free from the law. They no longer need to be circumcised. That's no longer part of what's required to be the people of God. But it doesn't make circumcision a bad thing. Circumcision can still be part of their culture. Uh, eating only certain foods can still be part of their culture, as long as it's not a barrier to the gospel. We see that a little bit later in this section. Uh, Paul uh, has met Timothy. Now, Timothy is a guy with a Jewish mum and a Greek dad, so he hasn't been circumcised. But Paul decides that it's probably a good idea if Timothy is circumcised because it's going to present less of a barrier for Paul and Timothy spreading the gospel. So Timothy is circumcised because circumcision doesn't really matter anymore. It's a cultural thing. So they are free to choose the thing that's best for the spread of the gospel. And the same thing is true for the Gentiles for the people who are not uh, following these Jewish customs. They're not bound to them. But similarly, it gives them and it gives us a chance to consider our culture. Are there things uh, that are part of our culture that are actually good, 
are there things in Australian culture, in Kiwi culture, uh, in the culture of wherever you're from, whatever your heart is longing to as your place, are there good things in those practices that teach us about what it is to be human, about the good things that God has poured out? Uh, what is it about that particular place uh, that is good for the gospel? But also, it asks us the question, for what parts of our culture really are barriers to the spread of the gospel? What does it mean for us as God's people to be subversive, to slip under and change some of those pieces about the way our culture functions, because they are barriers? This council at Jerusalem is a great moment for the church. It includes the Gentile believers in as the people of God, uh, without needing them to change their cultural practices. It says, yes, the Holy Spirit has been poured out on you by grace, just as it has been poured out on the Jewish Christians. That culture is no longer a barrier uh, to getting to know the God of the universe. But it also presents a challenge for us. Uh, if culture can be a barrier to the spread of the gospel, what are we doing about that? Do we know? Can we take our blinders off and examine some of those things? That's part of what we're doing uh, through this series in Acts, looking at what is what are some of the ways that cr the Christian worldview uh, is so different to the worldview around us, uh, and how does that what does that mean for us as God's people to be people who subvert, uh, who step around and examine the things of God in light of what our culture is saying? How do we spread the word uh, in our culture? What does that look like? So friends, let me invite you uh, to ask the Spirit uh, some of the answers to these questions. Uh, how is he uh, teaching us to be people who are subvertive, subversive? Uh, how is he teaching us to be people who examine our culture, keep the good, celebrate the good, um, but question those pieces that are barriers to the gospel. So friends, peace, I look forward to keep uh, to be able to keep exploring some of these questions with you as we journey uh, through the rest of this book.